IHS Jane's new aircraft market analytics dashboard enables rapid interpretation of IHS Jane's wealth of military aircraft inventory data held within its armed forces publications. The interface shown here utilizes data taken from IHS Jane's armed forces titles, Jane's World Armies, Navies and Air Forces, to provide a view of all military aircraft currently in service globally from which we can discern some related market trends. Starting at the top of the page, we can see that around 60,000 military aircraft are in service around the world at the present time, with a neighbouring chart showing the regional and national distribution of those aircraft. Here on the left, we have the manufacturer view, which shows us the various OEMs represented in this data and the number of aircraft in service for each. Towards the middle and the right hand side, we can see these inventory split by role and by platform name which shows us that the F-16 and Blackhawk are the two most numerous platforms in service. And finally, at the bottom of the page, we can see the years when these fleets first began delivery to the respective armed services. So let's start to take a closer look at this data and some of the regional and national trends in these aircraft fleets. If we go into the regional view at the top of the page and select North America, we can look at that market in more detail. One thing that stands out on the list on the left hand side is the primacy of US based manufacturers. Each of the top seven companies on the list are US based. Almost 60% of all fixed wing aircraft in service there are built by either Boeing or Lockheed Martin alone. To take a slightly different view of the trend, if we look at the platform family data, we can also see that each of the most numerous platforms are American made aircraft. If the view is changed to assess the rotary wing fleet, we see some differences though. Sikorsky is now the largest manufacturer with over 40% of the market. And we also start to see some foreign companies on the list, with EADS, Mill and Augusta Westland represented in the table. By contrast, if we change the selection to look at Asia, we see an even more competitive landscape. In this initial view, we can see that Russian and Chinese companies make up seven of the top eight manufacturers, largely due to the size of China's military aircraft inventory. If we exclude China, the picture changes and we see a much more diverse range of manufacturers on the left-hand chart. The Middle East provides a similarly competitive view of the market. However, we can further define the region and look solely at the Gulf states where the trend is different by selecting Saudi Arabia, UAE, Kuwait, Amman, Bahrain, and Qatar. Now we see on the left hand chart that European and US manufacturers represent almost the entire list, clearly demonstrating the region's predisposition for operating Western made aircraft. From a market perspective, some of the most interesting trends relate to specific companies or aircraft variants, so I'll now move on to look at these areas a little more closely. Starting from the beginning, we can see that the manufacturer's chart is dominated, perhaps unsurprisingly, by two US manufacturers, Boeing and Lockheed Martin, which together account for around a quarter of all operational aircraft globally. However, if we go a little deeper, we can see that some of the trends between these companies differ significantly. Selecting Boeing will get a more detailed view of the aircraft currently in service that are manufactured by that company. We can see in the regional view that the majority of the aircraft in service is based in North America. And more specifically, in the operator view, we can see that around 70% of all Boeing aircraft are in service with the US military, with Saudi Arabia, the second largest operator, responsible for just 3%. If we click on Lockheed Martin, we can see the contrasting regional trends. The regional chart at the top of the page now shows the company's global reach. As you can see, while North America is home to the greatest number of Lockheed Martin aircraft, similar to the Boeing, the majority of aircraft are actually operated by foreign countries, showing the importance of export markets to Lockheed Martin. We can also see that Lockheed Martin's presence in these foreign markets is largely based upon three programs, the F-16 multi-role fighter, the C-130 transport aircraft, and the P-3 maritime patrol aircraft. The dominance of the F-16 in this market shows just how important the F-35 programme will potentially be to the company's ability to maintain this global footprint. 
if we hover over, we can see that the F-16 actually accounts for 5% of all the aircraft in service globally today. Using the interface to provide an even more granular analysis, we could use the example of a business focused upon support of the Lockheed Martin C-130 and wanted to expand their business in emerging markets. To begin, we can click on the C-130 in the platform family table to quickly establish the number of aircraft currently active globally, currently around 1300. And we can also find their location both regionally and nationally. If we then deselect Western Europe and North America to get a better view of emerging markets, the picture becomes clearer. Here we can see that around 460 aircraft are in service in these regions, and in the top right hand corner, we can see the specific location of the largest C-130 operators, with Saudi Arabia possessing the largest single fleet. We can also see at the bottom of the page that most of these aircraft began entering service in the 1970s and 1980s, suggesting the existence of significant MRO opportunities. To take this further, we could go deeper to assess the size of a potential market for an upgrade developed specifically for the C-130H variant of the Hercules. And again, we can rapidly establish the size of the existing global C-130H fleet and where it is concentrated, with Asia Pacific and Middle East representing the key markets. To find out how IHS analytics modules can help you do more with our data, please contact your account manager.